I was bleeding internally. I was comatose. I was in shock. Fortunately, the local ambulance people came promptly and told my husband, you have to take her to Montefiore. Fifty years ago, the human heart was a mystery that was only beginning to be understood. Fifty years ago, the idea that doctors could perform open-heart surgery was just a glimmer in the eyes of a few visionary surgeons. Imagine you could reshape a weak heart and avoid the need for a transplant. Imagine if your heart ever stopped beating, it would automatically restart. Imagine you could see into the heart without ever going inside. We imagined all these and more. Now we've made them a reality. The Montefiore Einstein Heart Center. Advanced care, visionary thinking. 50 years of open heart surgery is the span of our profession. Very, very few programs in the world are able to take a moment like this and celebrate it. Future is built on strong foundation, which we have here. And future is determined by the leadership of a program. We have a program right now that's second to none in the world. We want this to be an international, national institution. I think there's only one way to do it. You have to actually be that. You have to actually deliver therapies before they become generally available or to be among the first to get it. So people will want to actually travel to your institution to get the care. Innovation is probably the single most important element in an academic medical center. But it is only a select few that are innovators, are on the cutting edge, literally. And what's really spectacular about Montefiore is that for 50 years, we have been pushing that envelope in cardiac surgery. Patients and doctors uh, uh, are looking for minimally invasive solutions to complicated problems. Uh, it's, uh, it's becoming widely known that we're offering uh, every range of minimally invasive surgical procedure and every range of robotic cardiac surgical procedure. And uh, we are becoming not only uh, an option for people who want less invasive surgery, but we're becoming the final option for people who don't have any other options. My heart, they didn't know whether my heart could take it. If I didn't have it, uh, I practically had about six months to live. Montefiore is building a truly remarkable team of specialists dedicated to pediatric cardiac care. With a hybrid procedure, we can use the skills of a surgeon, an interventional cardiologist, often an electrophysiologist, as well as with our anesthesiologist, and do procedures in a room designed so that surgeons and cardiologists can work together. It's really a wonderful approach for the patient. Nowadays, we have technology such as this. This is called a left ventricular assist device. It's a miniaturized device and really provides a much quicker, safer operation and a better quality of life afterwards. There is no medical center in the tri-state area apart from the Montefiore Einstein Heart Center that is involved in the National Heart and Lung Blood Institute STITCH trial. And we happen to be the leading enroller in that trial to look at patients with abnormal hearts and attempt to reshape them. Uh, I had congenital aortic stenosis. And that means the aortic valve kept on closing and was getting tighter and constricting blood flow from going through it. And the first time they did the surgery, they stretched the valve. And then approximately five years later, they noticed it was starting to close again. And instead of going in stretching again, they, like I said before, they did the smallest adult valve. And it actually looks like a little birdcage with a pearl in it. So I tick. <laughs> whether it be stem cell research, whether it be regeneration of heart muscle that's been damaged and diseased, whether it's novel, minimally invasive techniques so that patients can recover more quickly from their open heart surgery. This is what the future has in store for us. At this medical center, we are dedicated to ensuring people the highest quality of care and the opportunity to live a long and meaningful life. That's what it's all about, to, to see uh, individuals with no chance of living uh, for a long period of time or having a productive life, to see them grow and thrive. That feeling uh, you cannot describe. It's, it's uh, incredible.